What is up, everybody? If you like the content I put up, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, and leave me a comment below letting me know what you think of today's video. What's up everyone, Starscream here, and today we're gonna to be going over the boss invasion team that I've been using to auto run the vast majority of this event. Now, I didn't come up with it on my own. I was crowdsourced between a bunch of people throughout the Umbrella Guilds. If you're interested in joining our guilds, please let me know. Um, I won't always do a video like this. Typically, we keep these kind of strategies uh, within our guild, uh, but I wanted to show you guys more or less the type of stuff that we come up with during events so that you can see what you're missing out on. Aside from that, I also wasn't originally going to make this video just because there were so many errors and stuff that a lot of people have basically given up on this event uh, the errors were not like <laughs> were definitely not welcome but not necessarily unexpected because you know dungeon boss but that said they seem to be mostly all cleared up now before I was getting an error like literally every three or four runs which made running it very annoying even if I was running it on auto it was like a 10 minute run so it was like super annoying but now I can pretty much auto run it without any hiccups for the most part. So I wanted to sh share that team with you guys. I'll, I'll go over the runes after I show you a run. Now the runs are gonna take a while. So uh, the good thing is it's, it's, I mean, we're at a really high level and it's working pretty consistently. Uh, and I assume we're probably at a higher level than, mo than, than whatever guild you're in. So it should work just as well in your guild, if not better, uh, but it is gonna take a minute. It's definitely not like, super fast so if you guys have a faster team feel free to post it in the comments and i will definitely try it out but this is what i've been using and it's it's pretty consistent so basically uh before i obviously before i go over the runes i'm just going to show you more or less the uh the process and um so usually i'm just going to basic attack and that's going to give a chance to impair the target impair um i believe just lowers his crit chance we'll take a look real quick so Let's see it right here. Um, lowers defense and crit. So you're going to be doing more damage and he's going to be doing less damage uh, from crits. And then typically I will use steel sharpen steel. And then from this point, I can pretty much just auto attack. Uh, and I just sit back and just wait for it to finish. So that's, that's what we're going to do. What? Cool. <laughs> Please start me from the beginning. Kill me. Attempt number two. Yo, I'm having the fuck. I'm having the time of my life. I remember syrup sandwiches and grandma allowances, Vanessa. time okay so uh, on my phone it wasn't crashing but it seems to be crashing still on blue stacks so I'm not sure what's causing it I don't know if like it's an Android thing because I wasn't I, I like I was getting errors before and now I wasn't getting errors on my phone and now I'm getting errors on this so I don't know, but just so I don't feel like I completely freaking wasted my time, uh, that team really does work if you can get it to not crash. Um, as you can see, I hit curtains each time. It's it, I was getting I'm getting max damage. Um, so what I'll do is I'm gonna snip this. I'm gonna go straight to my runes, and hopefully you can get it to work on your phone or device or whatever you're running this on. All right, so that ate up 400 of my gems, but we are gonna go into the runes because I know that this team works because I was just using it on my phone. So. Um, as far as, again, the order, if you're looking at it, basically Sybil, I just basic attack, High Falcon, Hiking Falcon, I just use his second special, and then I just throw everything else on auto. Um, so let's just go, uh, let's see, Jin's part of that team, so we'll just go in the order that I find them in my list here. Uh, a key to this is making sure that everybody stays alive while obviously not sacrificing damage. Um, the devs have stated that Warrior Runes and tainted runes both give times three damage um, the same. So if you don't have a tainted rune because they're kind of hard to get, that's fine. Supposedly, the warrior runes should have the exact same effect. I don't believe they stack, and I don't believe you need both 
Um, that said, having a warrior rune is always good because it'll give you double attacks uh, on follow-up attacks from Valken and stuff. So it could be worth having both of them on there. Uh, but in my case, a lot of times I'm just focused more on trying to get at least a tainted rune on there or, or warrior rune, and then at least a sanctified rune or um, Heartstopper rune since those have the same effect as well, which is a guaranteed crit on the boss. So let's take a look at what I've got. So I've got a warrior rune in the, in the blue spot here, mostly defensive. I've got a power rune. Uh, this is really important. You need something that's going to be able to heal them throughout the match. The first round is the hardest one to survive, but once you've survived that, you're pretty much Gucci after that. This power rune I have heals 9% of damage, so you could throw like some type of vampiric rune or something in there, or the type of rune that like gives a passive that heals them 10% over, uh, over each round. Uh, I've also got an Unbreakable Heart Rune in the red slot here. Uh, again, you if you don't have a red one like I, like I do, you can put it in the blue spot. That's fine too. Just fit everything where you have, like, where you have runes that that work for it. Uh, here's my Heartstopper Rune, and then I have a Guardian Rune because they give quite a bit of defense. And again, I'm trying to survive that first round. An Unbreakable Heart Rune is definitely necessary, so make sure you have it, or you will get slammed on that first round. High King Valken, same idea. So with him, you need to have these festive runes so that he can use his uh, second ability on the first turn. That's going to be three festive runes. Or if you don't have that, you can use an energy pot. Um, it's less, I mean, you can get energy pots pretty easily, like from the portal and stuff. So I wouldn't really worry about using them. But anyways, uh, you this is the easiest way to do it. And then I put a Vampiric rune on him to give him some, uh, some heals. And then I put an Unbreakable Heart. So I wasn't able to fit a Warrior rune or... A, um, a Heartstopper rune, but so I did sacrifice some damage there, uh, but for me it was worth it just because I need him to be able to survive because he's a key component in making sure that the rest of my team survives. So it was worth it in my opinion, and I'm still maxing anyways. Just maybe takes me a little bit longer without that. All right, so next we've got Sybil. Uh, my Sybil is doing pretty decent damage. I have a Sanctified Rune on him, but again, remember you can swap this for a Heartstopper Rune if you have one. Uh, I have a Tainted Rune for the three times damage, and then an Unbreakable Heart Rune with uh, defense. Uh, another Tainted Rune just because I already had it on him. Just for You don't need to have two Tainted Runes, you could have just one, but I have two just for extra damage. And then a Vampiric Rune so he can heal over time like we mentioned. Lastly, I've got Alrakis in there. Um, I've got my Unbreakable Heart, like I mentioned, a heals 10% damage, so, so that's essentially a Vampiric Rune, my Tainted Rune, Warrior Rune, which is not, again, not necessary to stack, but it just is dealing extra damage anyways, and he's dealing tons of passive Chaos damage uh, because of that as well, and then a Heartstopper Rune to give him that guaranteed crit. So anyways, try that team out, it really should work, hopefully it's not crashing for you. Uh, if it is crashing, I don't really know what to tell you. This this event has kind of been a mess. Um, anyways, I hope this video helped a little bit. Um, as far as like the future of my channel, I did try out recording some stuff. So I tried recording uh, some Destiny and some Overwatch. Uh, unfortunately, it seems that I really need a hardware upgrade. Uh, I also might just need to reinstall my OS. It's just not, it's seeming to not handle everything good enough as far as like Recording, running XSplit, which is what I'm, re which is what I'm recording this with right now, and running the game at the exact same time for whatever reason seems to be very taxing. Even though I feel like I should have a strong enough build to be able to run everything flawlessly, uh, but regardless, it's not. So I need to figure out what's going on with that. So that'll be on hold for a little bit. So for now, I guess I just have to keep doing dungeon boss videos, um, which is fun but uh but i am working on it and i'm definitely going to be showing you guys some cool stuff coming up so i will talk to you guys soon thanks for tuning in